Hello again and welcome back to Ayatzin's A to Z of the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. My name is James. Today we'll be going through a Maggie run. Um, I'll try and talk you through it as we go. And we'll just see how things go, shall we? Uh, new run, Magdalene. Right, we need to go up to the chest. We might as well because the last recording was down to the dark room. Right, let's see about this. I don't like Curse of Darkness terribly much, but we don't really have to worry about it very much. You can always crank the gamma if you're really scared of the dark, but as you get better at it, you won't have to worry about it too much. These guys just walk towards you with creep, shoot, and they are not much trouble. This being the first floor, I don't particularly have to worry about losing red heart damage. So let's see. Ooh, first off, the goat head. I told you about that last episode, hopefully, if you were watching. It means that I'm guaranteed deals with the devil for the rest of the game, so I know re don't really have to worry about... Um, taking red heart damage at all. I mean, obviously, I don't want to die, but um, I can have as many close shaves as I like. I mean, in fact, I can take red heart damage with a plum. I just need to um, do it tactically if possible. Right, lots of double flies that will split into single flies. Lots of. I mean, this this is one of the more terrifying rooms, especially in the dark, just because you've got fly large flies splitting at you. You've got blast assists, sort of denying you certain routes that you can't walk through see if I can blast these things as fast as possible and because of Magdalene's horrible horribly slow speed you have to be very careful to outpace your enemies and know that you can get the maneuver done before they reach you I mean it's one of the things that's killed me probably the most in the game alongside desperately trying to keep Eve at the specific correct level of health to retain the Whore of Babylon state but We'll just see how we manage this. Hopefully we'll find maybe some pills with speed up in them, or maybe the mini mushroom that gives you speed up. But first things first, let's see what's in this treasure room. Ooh, a bomb. I'm fairly sure, if I was paying attention, somewhere down here was a um, cross rock. A tinted rock. Was it in the last room? No. Okay, well never mind. I'm sure I saw it, I just can't remember exactly where it is. Oh well. I'm sure someone's screaming at this video if they're watching it going, I saw it. Right, here we go, we have Dry Baby again. I mean, he was a real MVP last time, basically, got in the way of the bullets and kept damaging enemies every time they shot him. I mean, when you're going against Mum's heart, that's certainly helpful. Right, any more uh, tinted rocks? Not that I can see. Right, let's blow that up just for no reason. It's just fun. Um, we can't get that unless we find a um, hangman card on this floor. Uh, poops and flies, fairly easy to take out, don't have to worry about them that much. Unfortunately they can't trigger off Dry Baby, but never mind, we'll take that key, definitely need it on the next floor. Um, see if we can't kill this horrible little melty face abortion. Ugh. When I think about the concepts of what we're actually doing here, it's almost um, unjustifiably, ju unjustifiably grotesque. I don't really want to continue thinking about it, but the gameplay mechanics are so sublime, you couldn't get me to put this game down if you really wanted me to. Right, shall we take the boss on? Is there anything else? Well, there's quite a good candidate for having a um, secret room, one room over, surrounded on three sides. The shop being one side could be really useful. Might be able to blast our way into the shop without spending any keys. Ooh, and it doesn't even matter, we've now got a golden key. Golden key will allow us to open any locks on this floor for the rest of the floor. Unfortunately, there's only one more lock on this floor, and it's not really anything we can do usefully. But, um, oh well. Is it? We don't have any money to spend on any of these things. So, I mean, unless we get a uh, pageant boy, is a boss item drop that will allow us to buy some things. Right just one large worm creature. I mean, like I said, it doesn't matter about our health for this floor. In fact, um, I don't think it matters about our health for the rest of the game, really, unless we're losing it too badly that we're just decaying into nothing. We just have to keep shooting him till he's dead. Luckily, the Devil Deal was a sort of guaranteed for us, thanks to the uh, goat head. And I do think the Devil Deals are more valuable than the Deals with the Angel. I mean, Deals with the Angel can give you some really nice items, but they don't usually give you more than one item at once, as far as I'm aware. Unless you're using a D6 to re-roll um, the, the key piece you can get by blowing up the angel. Right, tears up, I'll totally take that. Tears and shot speed up. Yep, that is incredibly helpful. Is there anything else left on this floor? Nope, let's go down again. I don't think there's anything else I could get. I mean, 
there's a potential chance that I could get um, the second secret room, but sometimes there isn't one on the first floor that I've noticed. Right, basement. I really like the basement, and this time we're not even cursed. So let, let's move onwards. Let's put that overlay away. I'm sure you don't want to see that. Uh, put these fires out. We don't have to worry about our deal with the devil. Ooh, rosary bead, faith up, which will mean that we should get uh, more uh, spirit hearts. Right through this doorway because I'm not worried about devil deals because we're guaranteed one um, but on any floors we can get them oh I could have led that into this thing over here but as it is I'm gonna have to waste a bomb opening up just for the chance that there's something really good inside it well uh, we made out like a bandit we got more than we spent on it All right we've got the boss already I mean that's fairly early I'll blow up these things just in case hiding under one of them is a uh, crawl space or a uh, black market you never know Right, let's try going upwards. I'd rather get the item before we fight the boss, just because at this level of being Maggie, the chances are it's going to be something that moves quite quickly, and I don't want to get my head stomped on. I'd rather find something that lets me move slightly quicker before then. But whether or not, even just the damage up, I mean, actually with Magdalene, it's probably quite useful. She is almost like a moving tank, and I think one of the challenges is being a tank, pretty much. You've got like Infamy and your Maggie and loads of health. You basically, well, it's hard to fail that one, I think. Right, let's go in here, see what we get. Mm, little chub, it's okay. It will attack in the direction you're attacking, but obviously it won't stop. So you will just fire it off and hope. It's about the same way as Bob's brain operates. I think this is probably worth it, considering there are two chests in there for one bomb. So there's double the chances that we might actually get at least one bomb back from it. Yeah, and we got more than one bomb. That's totally worth it. Right, moving on. I'm not going to go to the shop unless I get enough money for it, or I'm desperate and can blow up the uh, donation machine. Right, these guys are almost no challenge at all. Troll bomb being a troll. Let's blow up this cross rock. I don't know why I like calling them cross rocks rather than tinted rocks, but I don't know. It's more descriptive of actually what they are. Let's go in here see what it is. Uh, reroll room, not a chance in hell. Uh, yeah, I'm just. I'll take this pill to find out what it is. But this would reroll my entire run and everything I'm carrying. And since this goat head is absolutely deliciously useful, I don't want to waste it. Oh dear, that was. Are you a wizard? So now I'm going to take damage because I wasn't paying enough attention. I was more paying attention to the fact that little Chub is firing out, and I seem to be able to use him quite accurately. Come on, little chub. Yeah, he did. He carried me through this. Um, are you a wizard? I hate. Are you a wizard? Oh yeah, take out that spider. Do your thing. Wow, that was so much faster than those champion spiders at the beginning of the last episode. All right now, we have a very good candidate for being a secret room, either down here or up and left one. Right, let's try this because we can be pretty sure that the rooms adjacent to it are right up to the walls. We found it. Let's blow these up, because not only is there a chance of getting pills from them, there is an incredibly good chance that we could get Magic Mushroom, which is one of the best all stats up items in the games. Ooh, Amnesia. Well, this floor is almost over. We're not um, too inhibited by having picked that up. Ooh, and Mini Mush, which is exactly what I was asking for earlier. We are now a little bit faster, which is exactly what you want with Maggie. No, I don't want more Amnesia. No, I don't want Are You A Wizard or even more Amnesia. Well, it looks like our pill rotation is rather terrible. Um, I'm not going to spend money at the shop, largely because we don't have enough. Uh, I will see if I... No, I don't have any bombs. Uh, never mind, I'm not going to try and find a second secret room. It would be utterly pointless. Right. Let's kill this dude and get our deal with the devil. I mean, I'm starting with enough hearts that I don't really have to worry about if I'll be able to afford it. And it's not going to be one for spirit hearts, because I've got any red hearts at all. If you do have red hearts, it will be for spirit hearts. If you spend all your red hearts and then re-roll the devil deals, the devil deals that you will then get are spirit heart deals. Ooh, more health. Yep, more to spend with the devil. Might as well. And he's not going to think for me. Right, let's see what's in these chests. There's a chance they'll be good. Mm, pills. Puberty is does nothing. This one is health down, and that's terrible. But at least if I do um, spend all my health with the devil, then uh, health down, if you have one or less red hearts, will actually act as health up. So now that I know that's in our rotation, we can make good use of it. Right, moving along swiftly. As you can see, we're almost in line with the clock this time. I'm taking much less time to explain everything. Right, let's go into this fight, because chances are we can actually get something useful from it. Oh good, a puberty pill. That's exactly what I wanted from one of these. Um, 
Let's just nuke these guys down as fast as possible. We, we don't really want to stay here any longer than we can. Here are the uh, black ones that... The diglets that fire spinning tears. They're basically no harder. In fact, I think they're easier than the other ones because you can just stand out of range of the spinning tears, which makes them so much easier. And here's Larry Jr. Really not that much trouble. He's not even as hard as Chubb. I mean, okay, I've taken some damage on him, but I'm not even worried about it. I'm playing quite sloppily. I can afford to. I've got the goat head. I'm not going to use the uh, yum heart that heals me for one heart every time. Not just yet. I might as well wait till I've actually got... There we go, a full heart to fill up. There we go, and we'll shoot these spiders. I, I, so long as I keep some red hearts about as Maggie, I should be fine. What's this? Algiz, resistance. Right, that gives me 30 seconds or so of shield. That might even be worth keeping all the way up to um, one of the late game bosses, just because of how powerful having 30 seconds of immunity is. Right, uh, keep going. I'm just going to... Oh, bomb guys. If we can get them to bomb useful things like walls for us, that's always useful. But other than that, they've got to die as fast as possible. I don't like being blown up. Right, take out these spiders. If we're careful, we can not aggro the other ones and just use these TNT barrels to take out the spiders without worrying too much. Yeah, there we go. I mean, those would be um, spiders that split into two smaller red spiders, but luckily they can't because they're dead. Moving along swiftly. Oh, well, well, they're all dead. Doing rather well on this run. This one's a champion, naturally. He will do one full heart of damage. Careful of him. And he's regenerating one, which means I hate him. I hate his guts. Ooh, more money. I like money. Right. Mm, that is probably slightly better than this, because the chances are one of the cards will be really useful. Strength. I will probably use that for the boss. I'll take this with me and recharge it for now. But if I... Um... Oh, the Bible. Oh, that's likely to happen if you get rosary bead or um, one of the other things. Jar of Hearts is probably actually better than um, what I've got. It basically allows you to store up red hearts and use them, drop them on the ground whenever you need them, as opposed to um, what I've got, which is once every four rooms you get a red heart. So let's pick that up. It's actually, like, definitely better. Right, let's not kill the boss yet. Let's just explore the rest of the floor. Right, now the secret room could be up here, but what was in here? Let's see if we can remember. Yeah, no, it's absolutely viable that it could be in there. All the walls meet around it, and it's three sides. Unfortunately, it wasn't. Right, let's move on. Keep exploring, shall we? Uh, right now, we know that the one on the left was uh, a flush to the wall. This one is, so let's check this one out. Yep, I mean, it's got some horrible chub spitting critters in it oh dear there's a legitimate chance I could die here <laughs> just simply because I can't visualize the space that they're all taking simultaneously oh no there we go survived right so there is a legitimate chance that this left hand side could be what we're looking for unfortunately I'm out of bombs after this nope that's a shame let's continue exploring the floor and just in case we get some more bombs we certainly need some more hearts if they're only lying around. Oh, one of the guys we can only shoot from the uh, back of his head, but luckily Chubb just goes through everything. I don't think uh, Bob's brain does, but then I haven't got that yet. Oh dear, Mullabooms. These guys could legitimately kill me because each of them does quite a lot. Right, let's get this pill. What is it? Amnesia? No, go to hell. Right, uh, between these, that always trips me up. Why did I wait here? Because I'm a Muppet, that's why. Right, I could get those pills, mm, well, the potential pills. I really like the idea that there's um, a magic mushroom hidden somewhere on this run, just because that is one of my favourite items. I am, however, hemorrhaging health, like it's going out of style. Oh, no, but that guy's got a half heart for me. I mean, later in the game I'll have to be careful not to ruin permanent Polaroids and invincibility, but at the moment that's not even a thing. Right, let's take this. I think a spirit heart is certainly worth one key. I mean obviously one penny isn't worth a key, because it costs five penny to five pennies or cents to buy a key from the shop. This floor is rather large. Did it say Curse of XL? It did.
did say uh, XL. That means that this floor has two bosses on it. It means that um, there are also two treasure rooms, so it's better off us finding the second treasure room before we go to fight two bosses. Otherwise, we might have our ass handed to us. Oh, I forgot to read the seed. Right, let's pause it for a second and just check, just check what the seed is. 44 PS CWHL. Right, I'll write that in the um, description in case you want it. But luckily, you don't have to go searching through the video for it because it'll be in the description. Ooh, thank you, Dry Baby, taking on all comers. Uh, health down. Mm -hmm. Well, when we get a deal with the devil, that might actually be useful. What was the card we had? Strength. No, that will probably be more useful. We can always come back for that health down after the deal with the devil. I, I doubt we're going to need it actually during a deal with the devil. All right, we'll go down here. Right. You can scam the devil for hearts deals that you don't have with strength because it gives you one temporary heart but the thing is if you've got any red hearts um, during the deal with the devil um, if you say are down to just your final red heart and you spend it i.e. you have spent your um, temporary heart you can't actually lose any red hearts after that so it's um fairly good scam oh I, I'm gonna have to take this again I took it last run I'm ever so sorry but it is probably gonna carry me through the rest of the game I mean, it means that my usage of skill has decreased significantly on this run. But then again, I think our survivability overall is a lot better. Let's blow these up and see what we get. Right, nothing of interest. Let's weave our way through these as carefully as possible. Don't forget that the shadow on the floor is actually where the I, the uh, bullet is. But sometimes I've noticed that they don't seem to obey that law as reasonably as they should right now. Try and take out the smaller ones first. Oh, especially the laser ones. Oh, well, that helped. You want to kill the ones that you can kill faster, as fast as possible. Right, I know this is probably the stupidest thing I can do, but I'm going to go in here anyway, just in case there's a guppy item or something. Oh, paid off. Well, uh, yeah, I, I totally knew that was going to happen. <coughs> and that wasn't just me coughing. Um, right, should we try this point? Mm, yeah, might as well. I'm trying to go a little bit faster, just in case I can make anything interesting happen. Right, it can't be down here. So I legitimately have no idea where it could be. Maybe back up at the top? Did I not check up there? Oh, that means I've got to weave through all those things again. I know, and it's going to be really slow as well, but have I checked there? I don't think I have. Well, we might as well give it a go. And we found it. Now I don't have to weave through anything. What's in this chest? Oh, that is... You're really taking the mitt game. You really are. Right, onwards and towards the boss. What item did we get from... Oh yeah, we got um, Satanic Bible. Which is absolutely brilliant, but at the same time... is a survivability item, not a let's kill the crap out of everything item. I do like damage items very much. Probably what mainly take me to the end of the game. Right, let's kill these guys as fast as possible. We don't want to leave any standing while we try and take on this other nest. I do think there is a hard limit of how many spiders each creep. Well, how, how many respawned creatures each um, creature spawner can have on screen at once? Normally it's about three or four, I think, to make sure the game doesn't tank too desperately. But it, it does seem to be a limit like that. Right, should we check the shop? It might be worth doing. Mm, I don't think anything worth getting, even with seven cents. Let's go kick the boss's ass. Uh, I'm going to save the strength card for the next stage of the boss. This is uh, for the next boss, I should say. This is Dark One. He will shoot bullets and uh, run at you. The difficulty is when he makes it everything dark and you've just got to dodge what you can't see. However, you can adjust the gamma. It feels a bit like cheating, though. Well, that really isn't. I gave you a gamma slider for a reason. He is really taking a lot of damage. I really hope he gives me a damage up as a reward. Because this is taking just forever to kill him. Luckily, uh, the strength card will cause him, uh, cause the next boss to take a lot more damage. Well, or causes me to do more damage, either way. But this is taking forever. There we go. We just avoid him charging at you. Ooh, pentagram. That increases um, your chance of getting a deal with the devil as well as 
doing more damage. Right, now Polycephalus. Actually, I probably should have used the Strength card on the last guy because he's actually harder. But you can't know that before time without actually having done the seed before or something. Right, let's try and make sure he doesn't pop up underneath me and aim my giant tear bullets at his body. Let's see if we can't kill the Diglett. Oh, here he comes. Very careful because he will try and get up underneath you. Baiting him to come up and then shooting at him. Deal with the devil. That I was not expecting. That must be caused by the fact that we didn't take a deal with the devil last deal. Although that was largely because he didn't offer us any. Right, I really like this thing. Shot speed and damage up. It's another overall damage upgrade. Don't forget that we're going to lose one heart when we leave the room. That is plus one permanent... HP, I'll take that very much. Is there anything else worth looking for? Well, there's a chance we could find a second secret room, but with two bombs, I really doubt it's going to happen. Down we go. Right, onward and that away. Oh, careful not to get hit by the masks. They are horrible. And they, despite, even if you have a slowing effect, they still seem to go at maximum speed which is just horrifying like that their, their speed seems to be uh, relative to your own or something rather than an absolute set speed pheromone well I'll use that later makes the enemies fight each other Ooh, if you hear that noise that means mum's gonna slam her hand down on you and be very careful because if she catches you she'll put you back to the beginning of the level which I mean isn't a terrible punishment but it does mean you have to fight this room all over again and so if there's a room with say eight of those things in it that is just hell. It's a bad, bad day. Ooh, anti-gravity tears. I probably shouldn't take this because I'm not very good with it, but I'm going to take it anyway because it's funny as hell. And it just lets me leave a trail of tears and then fire them off when I let go of the stick. So holding, leave it, go. Right, this means I can spend my red hearts to get money, but it also means, as I watch someone else do, you can take the damage from it and while you're invincible go pick up the item oh no I'm too slow as Maggie you can't do that trick it would seem right so let's take this pill speed down oh bro, I'm definitely not gonna be fast enough to pick up that other pill and to be honest it's probably not worth taking anyway with what we've had um, let's charge these up this uh, tear effect is brilliant if you've got any kind of creatures that chase you oh but really not so good when you need to fire shots immediately but you can just tap the button to be able to shoot so let's unfortunately I can't aim at angles oh dear I could legitimately die here ah oh, there we go gone right we're gonna have to go in here see if we can get some health uh, yep five cents for a spirit heart and not dying it's probably good let's go pick up the red heart as well put out these fires just in case there's some more money for us Ooh, permanent I'll come back for that later uh, because I have an intense feeling I'll probably die before then. Let's go see if we can't blow up more than one skull. Oh, and a secret room hidden there too. Oh, and it's full of red hearts. Vindication. I am. Yeah, I am. Did that entirely on purpose. <coughs> right, moving on. Let's take these guys out. I find that it's probably easier just to tap shoot when um, you're not. When you're not facing someone that will chase you because otherwise you're just going to be waiting there for them to build up anyway i mean it doesn't make any difference to the amount of damage you do it's not like chocolate milk where it has to charge so just tapping a direction is a lot easier right there we go oh hold on it would appear someone's decided to print um there we go oh i couldn't avoid it all Oh well, what a shame. I mean, I lost the heart I gained. It's not really the end of the world. Right, let's take these guys down. They're going to give me the left hand, which turns all chests from now on, well, while you're holding it, into red chests. I'm questioning whether it's worth it, but you can get really good guppy items from it. So is it worth it? I mean, what, am I likely to get anything worthwhile for the rest of the game? No, to be honest, I'd rather have the rosary bead. It's a safety play, it's a boring play, but it is um, it's worth doing. Unfortunately those eels are terrifying. Just because of how much damage they can do. These guys aren't as terrifying. Except for 
the implication of what they actually are. Try not to think about it too much. I know I don't. don't like the fact that they snipe me from above so easily. The problem is that I'm slow and made slower again by the fact that we had that speed down peel. Oh, thank you, dry baby. Still the MVP. We know you always were. Right, see if we can't get another black heart to save our butts before we accidentally croak. Is this chub one of the ones that will explode because he's sort of darkish green? Or is he one of the ones that could drop a key? I don't really want to be standing close enough to find out, but I'm sure it's worth doing. Oh, here we go, make him charge into it. his own shots. Come on. Oh, and I wasn't careful enough there. Ah, oh, now dead right now. Let's take these out before they cause us further problems. Now we've got black heart, protect us slightly longer term. Ooh, and a coin. Onward are oh, these guys. They're not terribly d dangerous, not when you've got um, tears the size we have, but you do have to make sure that none of them spawn bomb flies, which is, I think, what they always do when they're dead. Yep, there we go. See if we can't take the bomb flies out without us taking too much damage. Right, I can lay a trap for them using the um, anti gravity tears, and that's useful. Switching modes often enough seems quite important. There we go, gone. Onwards and that way. I hate these puppet things. Because they shoot three shots, they hit me all too often. Right, let's see what's up here. Oh, another puppet things. Oh, and these ones have flies spinning around them. Does that mean... No, the flies aren't going to come free afterwards, like they might do. Uh, let's move on. Hopefully we can employ this pheromones pill somewhere really useful. I've only got two more bombs and I would rather use it to find a secret room but there are at least three locations I can see that might be the secret room let alone more than that. Oh dear, these may all be the laser ones in which case we certainly have to worry about not standing in the same cardinal direction as them. Ooh, a uh, tinted rock right next to a uh, golden chest. I will take it. And we got everything we had back. Right, let's go into the boss. Maybe we can use pheromones to make his ads hurt him. Nope! The bloat is basically peep, except more broken because his laser tears, when they go sideways, the hit box used to be that you could stand underneath it if you stood in the right place. But the uh, designers didn't like it, so they fixed it by making the hit box broken. Literally. The hit box is now such that you will get hit if you are even standing somewhere that you think should be safe. So be extremely careful with that. I know I'm trying to be, but the chances of me dying here are incredible. Oh, but I took him out. Look at that. Clutch save right at the end. Right, this is a speed up, but I don't have anything to change it with, so I might as well. Oh, dear lord. Really? You're going to give me, like, the worst item in the game? Holy water, literally. Um just puts a tiny little pool of water that slightly damages the enemies if they walk over it. If you take damage and it only lasts a very short amount of time. I can't really think of something I'd like to have least less, I should say, but I can't actually do anything about it. Right, let's swap a key for a bomb and see if this is a second se uh, secret room. I really doubt it is because it's too close to where you would find a second secret room. But hey, I was wrong. I like being wrong when it's good. No, I don't want Are You a Wizard. No, I don't want Puberty. And oh god, Amnesia. Really? These are my choices. <sighs> oh well, make the do make do with what you have, I guess. And onward. There's no point going to the shop because I can't blow up the donation machine. There's no other money I can get. I'm just looking for um, tinted rocks I may have missed. And there's a key in there. I don't think I can get that. No, so it's time to just leave, I think and hope against hope that we find some red hearts on our way. Is that red heart actually a red heart or is it a lie? I mean I'll go check it out. It might just be a red heart I couldn't reach or a red heart I've forgotten about. No it's a red heart I can't reach because I haven't got any bombs. Well yeah there we go. Down to the next floor. Cross your fingers we don't die. Yep. That. I'm not going to watch that big net. I don't like them. Right onwards. Oh, these guys are horrible because they shoot um, 
so many tears at once. This, oh, we don't know what it is. It could be good. Cross your fingers. Hematomesis, absolutely brilliant because we were so low on health that it gave us health. Usually if you've got full health, it will be terrible, but we were in a bit of a clutch situation, so that saved our backsides. This um, holy water is absolutely awful though. I, I doubt we're going to see it do anything for the entire game. But, you know, never mind. Keep going and carry on. Maybe if we just lay a trail of tears, we can get them to jump on it. Ooh, or shoot dry baby. Yeah, that, that's what you want to do, isn't it? To shoot him until you die. Oh look, there's a tiny little patch of water that they may one day walk onto. Oh no, they won't because it's about to fade away anyway. Look, there we go, it's gone already. I mean, how is that even an item worthy of the angel room? I mean, the angel room can give you stuff like the holy grail. Or a little bit of holy water that won't really hurt them much if it does at all. If they manage to walk onto it. I don't know, it, it just seems sort of out of kilter with the rest of the game. Oh well, let's um, be extremely careful in this situation because woo, we don't have enough health to mess around with. Charge it up here while they're all busy. Wow, he can't reach me from there. Ha! Luckily they weren't laser guys or I would be totally nailed by now. Should we use pheromones? Oh, no, use it here. Hey guys, you uh, have a cluster party. Not that that's what it should be called, but you know, you never know when there's young'uns in the audience. Right, we've got rid of the champion, and we got rid of that guy. That was, I think, probably the best use I was going to get out of a pheromones pill. They basically just killed each other. Right, one more room, and we should have another black heart. Yay, that will be useful. Right, it's a huge room, and it's got lots and lots of the guys who just charge left and right, and therefore are practically impossible to ever hit consistently. This could take a while. Oh, thank you, Dry Baby. If we can just hide behind his bullets and get them to hit Dry Baby, we might take less than literally forever. Well, there's two down. One to go, I suspect. These are the heads of the Headless Horseman without the body of the Headless Horseman, which seems took entirely the wrong way around, but never mind. Better this way than um, his body, which actually spawns creep. I'd rather not walk onto that. I can't fly yet. I do look a bit radioactive like Dr. Manhattan or something. I'll take that. And what is this item here? Kane's Eye. Not a chance. It just gives you a chance of when walking in a room to show you the rest of the um, items on the level like the compass does per permanently. Oh, I might be able to lead them actually onto the holy water this time. Come on, follow me. This is the way. No, oops, run out already. And thereby is your problem. You have to get close enough to aggro them, but not close enough to get killed by them. And then lead them to a place where you don't want to go yourself. Right, onwards. There's a chance that this is the secret room here. Is it worth doing it? I mean, I don't have a bomb yet. If I find one, is that worth trying? Oh dear, let's dodge these. I mean, I need to be very careful with these. Because they can quite easily hurt me. The problem with Maggie, of course, like I said, is her slow speed, and those kind of traps become so many times worse when you can't dodge properly. Oh, that was my own fault, dodged actually into that bullet, rather than away from it. Oh well, that will be the wizard card, which makes your tears home for the one room in which you use it. So, for some odd reason that we haven't worked out yet, well, as far as I'm aware, nobody's worked out yet, that one is always the wizard card. Maybe worth it, maybe not. I'm probably going to call this episode after I kill mum, because she's probably only one floor away. The D6. Oh, do I want the D6 or do I want the health? To be honest, I'm hemorrhaging health like crazy at the moment. We'll see what else we get on this floor. May I won't fight mum until I've made the decision, of course, but it may just be worth taking. Actually, no, it's probably too late in the game to make the D6 worth taking. If only I could roll itself with itself, but you can't just go, I don't want that, and re-roll it. I'd need... a Perthro rune or something to do that trick. Well, Perthro rune is basically the same as having a temporary one-shot D6. Right, let's just try and take this guy out. He's going to turn a bomb fly. Bomb's gone. Right now, this white fly will become a permanent fly when you take out its poop. Let's try and avoid taking too much damage against these ghosts. These are the same ghosts you get coming along with um, the horn. 
I've not usually seen them at this amount of regularity. Um, not in the haunt fight, which is kind of odd. Right, these ghosts are just so annoying because of how little time you have to attack them in. I'd rather not take all that creep damage, thanks. So I'm going to have to wait here. I'm going rather slowly. There's not been anywhere close to near enough for boss rush, but then um, boss rush is, is a bit of a push to get there any time I do it. Right, uh, it's probably worth just blowing these four up because they could give me a card or black hearts. Nope, or nothing and just a host who wants to kill me. Oh, more of mum's hands. Let's see if we can't bait them into falling down. Ooh, there's four on this time. If I um, got clutched by even the last one and taken away, I'd have to fight the whole room again. So you can kind of understand why I wouldn't want to risk it even at all. Yes, we managed to take out the jumping one before he got a chance to jump, or at least reduced him to a state in which he can't jump. Right, should we go in here? I mean, seven cents is probably enough to buy something at least. Do we want to buy anything in here? No, I don't think we do. Let's continue onwards. I mean, we can't, I suppose we could buy a bomb and find a second secret room. There's a chance of it, but it's not really worth it. Let's fight mum, and as fast as possible, shall we? I'm just going to have to hammer this button as fast as possible because I really don't want to take damage from these guys. There comes her foot again. Watch out for the walls. Yes, Dry Baby, thank you very much. He is really the guy to beat. Or should I say the familiar to beat. We do seem to be doing a fair bit of damage. I've just got to stop taking so much silly damage as I am. Ooh, if I stand on this now, I mean, there are enough things coming. Yeah, there we go. Mum stood on it herself taken down. Right, I think we could even manage to go to the dark room with this room. We're probably strong enough. But rather than do pick now, I'm going to see what devil deal we get. Oh, it's Krampus. Goody. Well, the only thing I can hope is that rather than getting Krampus's head, we get um, a lump of coal. Which means that the further our tears get from us, the more damage they do. Which could be very useful. Nope, we get Krampus's head, which I'm not going to take. I might as well show you what it does. But I'm not going to take it with me, because I need the health. When you fire it, it fires a uh, laser beam in four directions, which is really useful and can take out most of an enemy's health uh, even with the bosses. Oh, I can't hear this cross rocked. But, um, I'm just going to take the Polaroid. I really... With a lump of coal or a devil deal I was fairly confident I could have probably gone down to the dark room. With just Krampus's head, there's not much I can do with it. And I didn't have any way to teleport out and say get the D6, which would be really useful. But never mind. Right, let's take out those guys. Should we find this room? I think we probably should. I mean, even if it's not got a lot in it, it might be worthwhile in the end. Oh, Teratoma. When this breaks down into more pieces, you have to be extremely nimble not to get hit by any of them. However, if you keep your eyes open and try and kill as many pieces as you can, you'll be fine. Right, there we go. What we have next? Loki. Shooting in cardinal directions a lot and diagonals and dropping bomb flies. As long as you can stand at an angle that's not quite any of the cardinal directions of the diagonals, you can take them out with a plum really. Come on you bastard, just die. You can hopefully use his bomb flies against him, that works quite well. If you can hit them while they're next to him, there we go. Just got to sort of aim straight, which is not something I'm doing very well with anti-gravity tears, having to tap shoot. And we've got Chubb. I'm not going to waste my one bomb feeding him a bomb. I mean, I know it does a hell of a lot of damage to him, but I've only got one of them, and I'm really hoping to find some tinted rocks to buff my health over and above. We've already sort of committed to going to the, um, to the cathedral, so let's really hope that we can handle our way through. Right, you can give us anything? No, just another charge for our satanic bible. Right, let's go up and see what we can find. Um, let's try not get hit by the turrets or any of these guys. And take out... Now, everything on these floors is going to be giving us um, a full heart of damage whenever we take any damage. So that's something to worry about. Right. Very careful. Oh, thank you, dry baby. See if we can't take this guy out before it explodes in our face. Yep. Are there any tinted rocks in this room? Nope, not at all. 
Right, careful of the spike, see what we can get. I bet that pill is useless because the rest of our pills have been useless. Hmm, hematomesis. Actually, when we get low on health, we might as well pop it and get some red hearts back. I mean, no reason not to. Oh dear. But Dry Baby came in with a clutch save. Thank you very much, Dry Baby. Oh, these are the versions of Blast Assist that will actually be a problem. They break down um, fairly easily. But the problem is that while they're able to jump and shoot, they're much more trouble. The level up from them will break into two of those type, and then those type will just pop the bubble and turn into the smaller type. Right. Now there's quite a good chance that one of these could be tinted, but there's probably no way that I could get over there if there was. Right, let's take this guy out. See if I can't get him before he shoots off screen. Managed that. Right, we'll go into this and see if we can't... Ooh, we have no idea what that is. If that is a uh, dead cat, that means we lose all our red hearts um, and end up with only one, but we do get nine lives. On the other hand, it could be any of the other guppy items, and I, I think it's probably worth taking. Guppy's poor, soul converter. I like that. It gives us a one hint towards the guppy items, but I don't particularly want to actually convert my hearts because I'm doing rather well in staying alive with them at the moment, so we'll just keep going. I mean, I can always hematomesis when I do start running out of health. These things are just terrible, but Dry Baby, again, coming in with the save. I think I would probably be dead without Dry Baby at this point. I mean, you do have to rely on the tools the game gives you, but at the same time, he's sort of focused all my attention onto the one tool because he's so good. Or he saved me so many times. Oh dear, there goes my black heart. Oh, but there's another half um, eternal heart. I don't expect it to last long. I do expect it to protect us from at least one extra hit. Which, or at least a half extra hit. We won't get the Polaroid invincibility, but the negative does do another... Um, Another Necronomicon damage in a clutch situation. Oh, we managed to avoid damage. Let's go kill the boss. Might be Mr. Fred. Yep, there it is. Mr. Fred, you can tell because his room is too wide and he's on the wound one. He stays in the same place quite a lot, so you don't usually have to worry about him. Um, maybe charging up here, waiting for them to come, is not such a bad idea. Because then I can hit him with all of them at once and not have any of them miss so much. Here we go. See if I can't get through without losing that um, eternal heart. I mean, I'd be a bit surprised, but it doesn't seem all that hard with this setup we've got going. Oh, no, managed it. Right, now, unfortunately, we can't see what this is, so I'm just going to have to take it and hope. Mum's lipstick, range up. Didn't need that even in the least, but never mind. Can't see what this is either, but we can only hope it's better than... Cut across. Hmm. That's not too bad. That um, can give us a shield in a clutch situation, so we'll roll with it. I mean, might as well. Do or die, you know. I think I'll actually end this at uh, Mum's Heart fight. Actually, no, I, I did. The last two floors are the silliest and probably the shortest, because by that point you have so much damage going on anyway. Ooh, right, the masks we can't damage except by killing everything else in the room first, so the only real thing to do is dodge them until we can kill everything else. These things that pop up and down are so annoying. Right, I've got to not forget that I've got hematomesis should I need it. And try and avoid taking damage from these um, turrets. There we go. Right now, there's quite a good chance with so many rocks, there could be a tinted rock in here somewhere. We have a look. Not that I can see. I don't see any crosses. Not any the ones that mark out a specifically tinted rock. Oh, I knocked him sideways. Oh well. Celtic cross. I think probably that was fired up for the win because I can't be Polaroid, naturally. Right, this uh, half-invisible guy it requires you to have killed everything else in the room before you can hurt him, it would seem. Or is it everything else of his type? That would seem to make more sense, because I just managed to kill him. Oh, dear. Well, hematomesis it only gave us two hearts, so now I can't really afford to go into there. I really want to, because we've already got one guppy item. Oh, and it was worth it. That gives us damage up, 
as well as giving us three black hearts. So we are much better protected than we were before. We just need to try and desperately... Oh, there we go, that cleared out the room and we didn't get lasered to death by turrets. Alright, see if we can take this guy out before he charges. Nope. Is our damage really that low? Well, we've got to fret then because we're certainly not in a very good position. Let's take these brains out and let's see if we can't get that guy to kill himself. Right, it cost us a key, but it was probably worth it. We don't have to worry about him anymore. Take this extra black heart and move along. See if we can't kill the charging ones before they... No, too late. Oh well. See if we can't kill this one. Yep, and let's pop these just in case there's anything worthwhile while I check for tinted rocks. No, not that I can see. There we go then, and onwards. Right, we've found the boss. That is absolutely brilliant because we are in trouble if we do not kill it soon. Right, onwards. It lives. Right, take out the eyes. Oh, come on. There we go. Now just fire as hard as possible on the heart. Oh, no, there's still a turret. Oh, the turret's gone. Thank you, dry baby. I will be dead now. Oh, no, now I'm dead. Well, sorry about that, folks. Uh, thanks ever so much for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Uh, like or dislike. Uh, or tweet at I at Zine on Twitter. Um, yeah, and thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to watch some more of this. And I'll see you next time.